Hello and welcome to another episode of the conversion segment brought to you by bitsbox.co.uk. As always, I am Craig and he is Ryan. Hello there, people! To view the conversions we're talking about, go to blog.bitsbox.co.uk and follow the Screaming Heretic link. Right, first model we're going to look at today is a conversion I made some time ago to represent the Dark Eldar special character, Duke Sliscus. This is a very simple conversion I made using only parts from the um, Dark Elf Black Ark Corsair box set and uh, Dark Eldar Warriors. He uses a cloak from the Dark Elf Corsair set as well as a body front and a crossed swords because he, um, he's represented with um, a serpent's bite which is twin venom blades and, and I've also um, put some sort of um, poly cement on there to represent some poison. Yeah, which you can see is uh, painted sort of, is that, which um, green is that, I can't tell from here. It probably um, goblin green highlight like yeah. the scorpion, um, if you go and buy the old paints. Yeah. With the new paints I haven't got a clue what they, <laughs> they would be. No. <laughs> I've, so I've still got the uh, poster of all the paints up, but I just can't bloody remember any of them. No, I, I, just I, go... I don't remember what I've been called, let alone what they're meant to represent. Yeah, I just go by the old names, it's yeah. easier. But anyway, back to the model. Um, that's it for the Dark Elf Corsair parts. So the rest of the parts are just made up from Dark Eldar Warrior parts, and you're using a pair of some legs and his and the head, as well as one of the little accessory sort of tabard things with knife and that. And I've got him in sort of a sort of a static pose, sort of just standing there with the swords crossed. I always picture him as sort of, even though he's sort of quite good at sort of combat because of his poison weapons and that. I always sort of picture him as sort of standing in the backfield and just letting the plebs get killed and he'll and yeah them. letting the army let loose because he's got all these rules what change stuff of how the army works sort of like the low orbit raid and serpent's venom and contraband. Yeah, so he's your stereotypical leader he's, yeah. he stands at the back commanding people. Yeah so yeah. I always I want to give him that sort of look so he's sort of standing there across blades ready to sort of Kick ass if anyone comes towards him. Yeah, and poison blades. So yeah. Never really been too fond of facing them. Although, I have, I have no idea what he's actually like in battle because I don't have a Dark Eldar army, but I did just make him just for fun. Yeah, why not? So, so that's him. Okay, thank you. Moving on to uh, this one, which has been sent in to us by a chap called Mr. Jack Clements. Right. Uh, this guy's uh, got a chaplain, uh, which represents Chaplain Cassius from the Ultramarines, or any chaplain. Yeah, it looks like he's using them for his own chapter, or maybe even the Salamanders, judging by how he looks. Yeah, uh, this guy's called uh, Chaplain Elysius, I believe. Uh, as he said, the um, head is the Salamander head, which is from Chapter House. Yeah, it's from Chapter House Studios. That's a pretty co- pretty cool looking looking head, that. Yeah. I say, um, fits the uh, chaplain type of mm. appearance quite well. Definitely. Uh, the backpack, which is a gothic backpack, I've not actually seen these before, but the uh, they're from Max Mini, and yeah, it just looks awesome to be honest. Yeah, the only thing that would make it better if he had like fire coming out of the top or something. I think that would yeah. be quite sweet. I suppose if he had fire coming out of the top, it would um, you could have, have a Legion of the Damned or um, Sisters yeah, of Battle. Yeah, that's true. Could... They have that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one thing that this uh, guy's doing quite well is the combi flamer, which is made up of a bolt gun, which is the master crafted bolt from the command squads, and um, a bit of a flamer. Uh, you can see the top part of the flamer nozzle, which the guy's um, put off like the bolter's uh, nozzle bit. He's removed that and just putting it to one side. He's then removed the nozzle, uh, not including the igniter off the flamer. And then he's glued the nozzle from the hand flamer on in place of where the bolt and nozzle is, uh, keeping the round side faced up. And then the bolt and nozzle can be glued underneath, thus completing the combi flamer. Yeah, he's he's done really well to get the bolt and nozzle underneath because normally if you chop them off, they sort of fold in on themselves. But yeah. you cut and they sort of yeah. Well, we say it's quite a tiny so little bit. So yeah, he's he's done well with that. Yeah, that, that looks pretty pretty impressive. Yeah, I wasn't actually aware of uh, comp flame was being about, so I'll um, happily be creating some more um, custom work. Yeah, hey. the only L- um, alternative for comp flame is what Forge World do at the moment with the um, uh, um, the Captain upgrade set. So do you, I don't think, apart from the actual Chaplain Cassius model, I don't think there's many about. Hmm. 
Uh, have a look at that later. Um, go back to this lovely little model. Um, he's got a bionic arm, which if you have a look uh, just at where the elbow is, you can see that it's part of a Necron Destroyer model, uh, which is in place of the uh, elbow where, of a pistol arm, basically. So that's quite a nifty little thing. It's obviously some space marines do get nailed from time to time and have to have bionic implants. Yeah, I, mean, I remember making a model a long time ago, a bionic leg I used from a Necron... Immortals, so they, yeah. they work quite well for bionics. Yeah, well, obviously, seeing as the um, Necrons are just pure skeletal robots, yeah, <coughs> yeah. a rip off. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> um, going back to the model once again, he got just a... Tomb King rip offs, though. So. Tomb King, it's their own product, they can't rip off their own. Well, products. true, but they, yeah. they're running short of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, the uh, mace, which you can see, is the Sigil Vulcan, which is a dark um, angel power mace. Uh, he's chopped the head off of that and stuck a Warriors of Chaos maze head on it. Uh, as you can see, it's not got any Chaos Dark Angel uh, imagery on it. He's filed that all the way. So all you've got is just the uh, maze itself there. And, um, yeah, you can see a, a few little more added details onto the base, which is you. Yeah, there's a little, little tyranid skull, which I think is from um, the Sniper Scouts um, box set. I think that comes with that. Yeah, and the uh, rest of the uh, parts, I do believe, is just uh, Dark Angel parts. Yeah, it's a Dark Angel um, robe body and little accessory things on the belt. Yeah. Oh, well, I'd have to say this guy's done a, quite a nice yeah, conversion. Yeah, and it's painted quite well as well, so oh, yeah, it looks yeah. pretty good. I like the base. Yeah, it's a very nice little conversion, so... Yeah. So I'd like to thank, thank um, Jack Clements for sending that in to us. Yeah, I'd say um, keep sending them in, guys. You know, we're always uh, welcome to have your conversion sent in to us. Yeah, and also if you've got, a, got your own blog or something, we can link back to that via our blog. Yeah, and the uh, place to send in the conversions is... Yeah, that's conversions at bitsbox.co.uk. And all you need to do is just send, send in a couple of images of your conversion, then just a rundown of how you make it. Yeah, and then uh, we'll go through them, find the... Uh, Ones that take our eye, and they'll be uh, in the next segment. Yep. Yeah, okie dokie. So, guys, uh, we'd just like to thank the uh, people at Screaming Heretic for having us here once again. And we'll see you again in the next episode.